Well, Dave and Glenda, this is a brazen crime that dates all the way back to April. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider says if you think you can steal from the government and get away with it, you'd better think again. This unemployment fraud could be the largest fraud against the taxpayers in a generation. 27-year-old Andre Taylor Jr. of Farmington Hills is charged with three counts of wire fraud, three counts of aggravated identity theft, and four counts of mail fraud after he allegedly defrauded the Michigan Unemployment Insurance Agency, credit card companies, and sole identities of area residents dating back to April. It's stunning the amount of money that is being taken away from people who are unemployed. Taylor is accused of filing unemployment claims in Michigan and other states. It's alleged he had the state unemployment agencies sent him $600 in prepaid credit cards, an additional weekly benefit during the pandemic for people out of work, and even spend those gift cards at Meyer, Kroger, and other stores. He would even allegedly mail some of those cards to his house and relatives. When you're unemployed and you need that money for yourself that goes to feed your family, there's only so much money available. And when people like this steal that money away, it really hurts the people in Michigan. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider says Taylor would then post pictures of mounds of cash, luxury cars, and more on social media. Schneider says it wasn't the feds who brought them this case. It was the USPS who say Taylor would bribe mail carriers to steal debit credit cards along their routes. In this case, it's the U.S. Postal Service. The Postal Inspection Service, those postal workers are doing a great job. They're the ones bringing us these cases. Schneider says it's disgusting to see people stealing from people who need the money the most, but promises they're not done yet. So whether or not you're going to brag about it on social media or not, we're going to follow the money trail until we track you down. Taylor was arrested earlier this month in California. Now, this investigation is still in the early stages. However, Matthew Schneider tells me they're still counting the amount of money that was taken and says that the total is going to be enormous. Reporting live tonight in Farmington Hills, I'm Alan Campbell. Glenda, back to you.